so today we are going on a trip we will use the cable car this is literally my first time using the cable car let's see how it goes today um so guys uh, welcome back we are now in O2 you can see uh, we are about to take our cable car I'm so excited I don't know how it will feel but excited I don't know how it's going to feel <laughs> so guys on my way to the the station right Emirates station to get the sitting in the grand entrance hall to the eighth wonder of the world this is isambard king of brunel's first project it's the first tunnel in the world what brunel did here he created a cage for the miners to work in this is the worst job in the world they are showered in sewage but they only work two hour shifts they collapse after two hours then they're carried out and they're replaced by men who are still breathing that's pretty much what they do even Going today. Down, then. This principle has simply been automated. Brunel had miners, whereas Crossrail have tunnel boring machines. Brunel had bricklayers. Crossrail has precast concrete sections. This is the birthplace of the You seen the flats. He will be scared. The ones the houses you have to smoke out the pub. Protecting London for more than 30 years. The original design criteria was to protect against the future of their built extra sacrifice comprised of 10 gates, the largest of which are 3,300 tons, approximately a third of an Eiffel Tower's worth of metal in each one, and a rotation position. The barrier protects against an area of land with about 1.25 million people jawed oh, along the south bank. So if you can imagine another oh. three and a half metres of yeah. construction in the view, that's what the barrier protects against. The port of London has been a centre for trade since Roman times. By the 1800s, it was the busiest port in the world, and a series of huge enclosed docks were built surrounded by high walls. The building we're sitting in is built in 1802. When it was built, it was the biggest warehouse in the world. The Romans first settled on, on the Thames, and obviously the Vikings came after the Romans. And all throughout history, there's always been lots and lots of trade. There was loads and loads of piracy, and that took fact is a gibbet cage. And he wasn't executed in the gibbet cage, and he was hung, and then he would have been cut down, and then he would have been put into the gibbet cage. And there was accounts of four to five bodies hanging quite along the four shot. So as the shipping were coming in, that was like determined, you behave yourself, otherwise this is going to happen to you. Whereas it's played a very important part in, in the war, because if you look at the infrastructure, and you kind of stole the nation out. Now you can imagine the velocity of the bombing, and sometimes you get the sugar going up and catching light, and then at the very end of the buildings, you have the rum going up and catching light. The fifth floor has become the grounds for city airport. 
the Royal Albert Dock to the north of the airport. Well, yeah. 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 Ye
I can share this memory. Can you come bring him out of life? He'll, he'll be scared. Ticket holders, please alight here and exit to the left. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> 